Mike Tirico is here calling the game tomorrow night. Uh, Mike, last season, NFL managed to play it all, mostly on schedule. What's the COVID thinking this season? If they got through last year, Shep, it should yeah. be a little bit easier to get through this year with all the vaccinations, one would think. Uh, but they're going to have games where players are missing. Zach Martin, for example, one of the best players for the Cowboys, likely to be out. He's been on the COVID-19. He's better when not Ooh, frozen. But there he is. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not guaranteed that the season will not freeze in spots, but I think overall we're going to get through it this year. And Brady's not going to freeze. The Goats 44 coming off a Super Bowl win. They look stronger than ever. Shep, this is his 22nd year in the wow. NFL. He's 44. And as you said, he played really well at the end of the season. Remember last year, he had no camp with the Buccaneers, no preseason. This year they have a full off season, a full camp. I expect them to hit the ground running. They're going to be very tough to beat in the NFC South, which is not as strong because Drew Brees is now on our team at NBC. He'll be in the studio with us on Sundays. And the Pats look a lot better, too, for that matter. Well, they love Mac Jones, the quarterback that they took in the first round out of Alabama. You know, people will tell you there's Nick Saban and Bill Belichick, and they're pretty similar in the way they prepare their teams and the success they've had. Well, Mac Jones learned NFL style of quarterbacking with great talent around him in Alabama. Look for him to come in and have perhaps the best splash of the five rookies taken in the first round of quarterback. What's the game as you look down the schedule? What's the one you go, I want to be there? A week four when Tom Brady goes back to New England as the Bucks play in Foxborough. It's a Sunday night game on NBC. Uh, we hope oh, a pregame show there. And that, that'll be something, Jeff, to see the reception for Brady, who New Englanders love, uh, coming back as the opponent and with a Super Bowl championship bring from somewhere else. That'll be great. I think NBC needs some of its partner networks represented there. We're, we're, a, long, <laughs> we're a long way away from the Super Bowl, but if, if you're looking that way, top of your list? You know, Shep, I can't see anybody beating Tampa Bay. They're so good. You know, health is always a question. Green Bay came close. Oh, come on, Shep. Green I mean, Bay came on. close. Now, in the AFC, I think we've got a story there because Kansas City's made the last two. A lot of folks think they're better. But there are two teams right around Lake Erie, Cleveland and Buffalo. Those teams are good. Their fans have had a lot of suffering. I think they're going to have a lot of happy Sundays, those teams this year. So those are two teams I'm watching real close to push Mahomes in Kansas City in the AFC. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.